Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Well, it's pretty much a quick tip, more than a tutorial. I want to show you how you can make some uh, hooks just by using a text object. So just Shift A, add a text object, and then tab into it. I'm going to use the uh, the question mark, but again, I guess you could use uh, any letter you want. See, this font doesn't really work, so again, it all depends on the font that you use. So choose, change it to the font tab, come to the regular section, and open in our font. So this font seems to work fine for me, it gives me a nice um, hook shape. So what we need to do is just convert this, type convert, then we want to curve from mesh. Now if we tab into it, if we right click and hold control and right click all the way around this curve here, we want to select this curve. And if we hit P, we can separate this. And now if we tab back out of it, we have two pieces, which is exactly what we want. So this piece here we don't actually need, so we can delete that. And it's this piece here we, we do want. So the first we can do, if we hit spacebar and type set origin, we can just set the origin now. We want to set the origin to the geometry. So now we can rotate and make this stand up. I'm going to rotate on the X 90 degrees. Let's have a look at this. In fact, let's just uh, Control Z, rotate minus 90 degrees on the X. There we go. Okay, so now we've got the basic curve. What we need to do is come to this panel here, which should be already be selected. Um, it's the data object data panel, and we want to choose 2D to 3D. We also want to choose the fill type to be full. And if we come down here to bevel, if we start increasing this, we can see it's a very low poly hook, which uh, yeah, it does a job for us, depending on how many hooks you want to make. Um, depends on the resolution you want to give it as well. So I'm just going to set the bevel and the resolution to two. And since this is still a curve, if we tab into edit mode, we can still make some adjustments to it, which um, yeah, you can do that now. But let's say we're happy with that shape. I want to uh, convert this again but this time into a mesh. I prefer to uh, do the modeling in, with it like this rather than when it's curves, but you can do how you want. I'm just gonna select this ring here and just scale it down. In fact, we'll go to front view so we can see it a bit better. And I'm gonna scale this so it tapers a little bit. I'll just extrude it first and scale it down. Now if we hit O to enable uh, proportional editing, so we can give it more of a tapered edge. So yeah, just uh, make some refinements until you're happy with the, the hook. And again, the hook that you make depends on the font that you use. So we just had a new font here. Um, again, use a question mark, but we're going to use a different type of font. So you get a completely different shape. So I'm going to do the same thing, convert it. I'm going to select the, uh, the edge and then separate it and then yeah do the same thing just bevel the curve so it's a quick way to um, to model some hooks I guess I mean I wonder what other shapes you can use from text objects so it'd be pretty interesting to see what you guys can do with it if um, you can make some cool shapes or some cool objects from the text then uh, yeah let us know in the comments um, but yeah, hopefully this tutorial was, well, this, this quick tips helped. <laughs> if it did, give it a like. So yeah, thanks for watching.